Hello everybody, today I'm going to be testing AVG Free 2011. Uh, it's AVG's new free version. Um, I hear it has improvement over the last versions. Um, AVG has kind of had a, a bad, so to speak, a little bit of a bad rap in some circles because of its lacking in rootkit prevention and um, it's been a weak suite in the past and also a heavier uh, software compared to some of the other free softwares out there but we're gonna see how it does now um, it's a downloader it's going to be downloading the software um, through this installer so when you download the installer it's only a few kilobytes and then of course they're trying to get you to get their pay version uh, quick install that'll be fine they have I think kind of completely revamped graphics this year I hate security suites that install toolbars Security programs install toolbars. It's so annoying. Link scanner is kind of cool. Link scanner, uh, if you're not familiar with it, when you are on Google and you Google something, um, it'll put little um, icons next to the links and it will show you which ones are definitely safe and which ones are not. Um, it's, a, it's a neat addition to a program, I think, because um, it'll show you whether you could trust a site right off the bat or not. I think some people need that kind of help. Um, all right. The first thing I notice is that AVG is about twice as large as both of the other free um, programs I tested, Avira and Avast. It's 110.4 megabytes as opposed to, I think it was maybe 30 or 40 or 50 or something around that range. This is a much heavier program. I tried to start this video earlier and uh, the cursor was completely glitching out so I had to start over. So this is my second attempt. Alright, I'm gonna pause this video while this downloads because it's gonna take a heck of a long time and um, we're gonna get to the testing. I have 12 links. Um, after this is done installing um, so you won't have long to wait before we get to the business alright so it says the installation was successful uh, it was a no-click process just installed it it wants me to register um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'll be right back alright and Here we go. AVG also has little pop-ups at the bottom uh, telling you to upgrade. Who cares? Um, let's see. We are going to fix all. I'm going to assume that's going to upgrade, I mean update it. If we go to here to updating. Um, the file size is not very large, which is really nice, I think. Um, and they can do it fairly quickly and can install the new updates one thing that bugs me is once you download the entire suite and then it has to download uh, like four it's like 40 megabytes of updates it really bugs me AVG has a little graphic here uh, little looks like a pinwheel uh, showing you that it's scanning I guess um, let's see. We have AVG, 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 AVG. Uh, I think this is all AVG. Jeez. Is it just me or does AVG look like it's a relatively heavy suite with like one module for every uh, process? Jeez. That's impressive in its own right. Alright, let's take a look here. Um, if we click on this, 
it'll give you information about it. Um, let's see, components, this is all the components, um, history tools, advanced settings, let's take a look at these. Okay, so this is like a lot of settings, I guess. The appearance, um, it's fine, sounds, uh, faulty, identity protection, virus vault, pop exceptions, potentially unwanted programs, link scanner, uh, anti-rootkit, um, All right. Um, don't care for the toolbar. All right. Um, ultimately, I'm going to say we're just going to go ahead with what they got here. We're not going to change things around. And we're going to open up our malware here. And we're going to open up our Internet Explorer, which is completely unpatched so that AVG has to do all the prevention work. And let's start punching some of these links in. Ah, move to vault. It's got something. That's nice. And see, that looks like a big one. I'm going to download something else while we're waiting for that one. Okay, so it says the category is unknown, so it must, it may be a heuristic, I don't know. Um, we're going to, uh, it's a potentially unwanted program. Um, we're going to move it to vault. Okay. It wants me to restart to complete the removal. Um. I'm not going to restart right now. I think that was the same file there. This is the other one. We're going to run that. And AVG finds that one too. Forced removal can cause instability or even crash. Uh, that's fine. I want it gone. You can also click more info if you want to know. It'll bring you to their uh, virus database and it'll show you what's going on. Um, trying to work this one out. Here we can download something else. Looks like it's gone so it must be uh, processed. It's got that one too. Object does not exist. Let me go to file. Let me see if it's there. That doesn't run. Move to vault. Huh. It says another action has already been performed. So maybe it did get rid of it. I don't know. All right. I'm going to say do not show me. So this is just, um, it just kind of ran me around a little bit of a loop there. But um, it seems to have it. It doesn't exist, it says. All right, so we're going to keep going here. AVG is, seems like it's uh, fairly strong um, this time around. Okay. AVG identity protection. Cancel. All right. So far, AVG has supposedly picked up everything. And it still is picking up everything. Move to vault, yes. Try to run that, nothing's going to happen. 
This is a screensaver file. We're going to run that. Let's move to Vault. Action was unsuccessful. Another action has already been performed. Hmm. Let me see. If I go to the file, it says it doesn't exist. Oops. That means that AVG, I guess, must have taken care of it, which is a good thing. And I'll just close that then. All right, move to vault. And we're going to keep going there since it seems to have taken care of that file. Let's run that. Ah. Uh oh. Looks like we've got a little something through. Security tool. I hate this program. We'll try a scan later for that one. See if it'll pick anything up. Alright, got that one. Move to vault. Let me go to file. Let me see if it says it's not there. Yeah. Oopsie. I hate that program. It's my one of my least favorite rogues. All right, and this one we're going to move to vault. Does not exist, I guess. Um, we're going to cancel. We're going to restart later. Um, and this is the last one of the 12 links. And we're going to try to run that. AVG got that one too. And we'll move it to vault. And we are secure, except for the little dark cloud of our day security tool. Not a fun one. I'm going to reboot here, and when I boot back up, we are going to see if we can find anything with a scan. And if not, I'm going to say AVG did really nicely, um, except for security tool which I've seen beat a lot of things. And I feel proud that AVG could actually create a slightly stronger suite, but I also don't think that um, AVG is the lightest suite, and I would not put AVG on a very um, low-resource computer, because it looks heavy to me. Um, I'm going to be right back when this finishes booting up. All right, AVG is loaded. It loaded fairly quickly. Um, uh, uh, AVG is um, running into a few security tool issues. Um, and... It's really giving AVG a hard time. Um, I'm going to pause this for a second, get our kill. Okay, our kill is a fun little tool for killing um, programs like Security Tool. But apparently Security Tool... Um, has a little bit of a thing where our kill doesn't seem to be able to prevent it. Ah. So maybe we got through. Um, all right, it says it removed that. Uh, okay, so it's, it's still giving me a pain in the neck. Yeah, 
So I would need to go through some advanced procedures um, to get rid of security um, tool. It's a real pain in the neck. Um, but I am going to say that AVG did a nice job. It's done better than some of the other free ones I've tested. Again, I have not used the same links with AVG. Um, but I would say that it seems like it has definitely improved this time around. And um, give it a try if you want to. I think it's higher up on my list. I'm not sure it's my favorite, especially because of the resource usage. And I only tested against 12 links. To do a successful test, you would have to use about 100 or more um, and test all the same links against all the same programs to see. But I do think that AVG is improving. And I hope you found this video enjoyable, and I hope you learned something from it. And I'm probably going to make another video using Panda uh, Cloud Antivirus with the same links so you can compare these two programs. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.